Hello Malta and hello world! My name is James and welcome to another Eurovision Reaction video with me. And today I'm going to review the Maltese entry for the Eurovision Song Contest 2022 which will take place this May in Turin, Italy. So let's get to it and start reviewing! Representing Malta at the Eurovision Song Contest in Turin is young singer Emma Muscat, who is sort of a known name in Italy, but she is originally from Malta. She won the Maltese National Selection Malta Eurovision Song Contest with the song Out of Sight. Now, before anything else, here's a look of Out of Sight. Out of Sight is your very typical generic manufactured uh, mid-tempo pop song but one thing that it has going for it is the fact that it is sung by a very capable performer in Emma Muscat. There was a lot of um, charisma, there was a lot of um, endearment and believability with what she was singing about and that really makes a whole lot of difference because essentially she she helps elevate the song to such a quality that I think it make that makes it very competitive, which I guess also speaks speaks more of the problem of a lot of songs that have been, that have been entering uh, Malta's national selection for uh, for a very long time, where we get a lot of really good singers, but they tend to be paired with a lot of really weak songs. Especially songs song, uh, song that are sung in English but, but has very questionable grammatically uh, incorrect lyrics, if, if I may say so. And I'm a second language speaker of the language. So, mm, the whole performance was just a spectacle. I really was immersed with what she is giving to us as, as viewers from home. And I think that is why a lot of people really. Uh, really leaned towards her at the time when the voting lines opened. People really leaned on hard on her, really really showed their support because I think they really liked what, what they saw in her. Although personally my favorite was Street Move by Eden Kassar. Unfortunately he did not make it although I was happy that at least he made it to second place. Uh, it's a song that is sung in Maltese and a lot of people were really hoping that Malta is finally going to send another song in their native language instead of English but unfortunately those hopes dash when Aiden was only able to reach as far as second but hopefully that doesn't stop him from from keeping on trying and hopefully he comes back for another edition with another Maltese language song I really really hope that they keep all, all the essential elements of that whole performance in the transition to Turin. Uh, one thing that I'm not sure if they will be able to replicate is the effect that, that the national final performance had with having a child be a, an actual child be incorporated into the whole thing. I know there's a rule in your visual where you're not allowed to bring in any child performers, but I think with the help of technology we they can be able to at least recreate that moment. Now this could really go either either of two things. It would fail in the semifinal be, be, despite having really really good uh, staging or and a very capable performance overall, or it could qualify and really end up in a good place. But that is something that we will have to wait out and see in the coming months and weeks. <laughs> Those were my thoughts. Let me know yours down in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more Eurovision related content and more. This has been James. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!